Hi, and welcome to the sports review segment here on the Breakfast Daily. David Kokui, what's going on? Chale, you sat down. Ben. Oh, really? Hey. I'm just looking at your your trainers. Yeah, Chale, the whole like, look. I like. Yeah. I like the foot. I like the way you put it. The foot candy. It's nice. Thanks. Thanks. Sweet. It's nice. Isn't it? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So you what? support great things, great teams, oh, great wow. things happen to you. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. Is this no, an it's anticipation it's not, of tonight? Uh, like what's... Uh, you said it to me. I haven't said anything. Okay. Let's start off on a nationalistic note. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the camp of the Black Stars. They okay. um, have had the sports minister speaking. Mm -hmm. He says that Otto Aru uh, and his technical team will soon be made official for the um, Afghan 2023 qualifiers and Ooh. also the World Cup. And so um, it's basically left with numbers. It's a game of numbers now. The ministry is comparing numbers from the GFA. Can we pay this money? Mm. Can we not pay this money? Do we have to pay this compensation? All that, all that. So that's where the, um, the negotiation stage is at, particularly now. So it looks like they say it's a matter of days and not weeks. And so it looks like Otuado is coming back. Hmm. Okay, nice. Wow. Um, and what's all this talk we're hearing about Edi and Ketsia and a Ghana passport and all this speculation? I say this, right? Yeah. When it comes to these particular issues, I would rather hear from the official source, which is Edi and Ketsia himself. Mm -hmm. Because he granted an interview less than two weeks ago where he was asked about where he stood between Ghana and England. And he gave a very murky answer saying that um, he's born in England. If England wanted to play, he'll be available. If Ghana wanted to play, he'll be available. He's not made a <laughs> choice yet. So he's still walking the middle of the road. Yeah. He's not decided which side he wants to go to. I've seen a lot of that on Ghanaian portals lately about how Edin Ketia has completed or mm -hmm. he's finally picked up his Ghanaian passport, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I, I say this. I, I, I'm not discrediting the news. I'm just saying that until Edin Ketia says, I have my Ghana passport and I have made the nationality switch and I'm eligible to play for Ghana, I'm not buying any. I'm not buying what anybody says because we've gone gotcha. in circles and in circles with these things. Mm -hmm. Same thing with a guy like Hudson Odo. There was news recently that he apparently was also working on a passport, um, a Ghanaian passport. They say he's also picked up his Ghanaian passport. How true that is, we don't know. But we know that he will be eligible come November. So we are looking out for that one. As for Edin Ketia, me, I want him to play for Ghana. There are people who say <laughs> that he's not bringing anything. He can't lead us now. I'm sure they are being served humble pie in their home these days because the guy is absolutely <laughs> balling. Yeah. I won't even lie. He's on yeah. form. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. So Edin Ketia doing big. Um, let's, let's move on. Uh, Otuado is coming, so let's move on. Let's get to <laughs> Liverpool. Liverpool, mm -hmm. Liverpool. Yeah, Charlie. Tonight, mm. Aston Villa, midweek action. Yeah. Liverpool, <laughs> I mean, stumbled a little over the weekend. Yeah. Not a big deal. Um, just, no, just keep winning your I matches. don't even know if it was a stumble, though. I mean, I, I, I would call it that because... You want to win every game to keep okay. as much pressure okay. on, on, on the league leaders. Fair and enough. so it wasn't a favorable result. You could tell from the body language of the players after the game that they weren't happy. And rightfully so. I mean, it wasn't a great performance. I was upset with Mohamed Salah especially. Mohamed Salah just being Mohamed Salah. Selfish, mm -hmm. selfish, selfish. I, I, I don't know how club deals with this sometimes. I would be mad if I was on the touchline. I'm not, I'm not sure about you, David. Mm. No, I, okay, so I guess... We, we see things differently, I mean, when it comes to mm -hmm. uh, Salah. Because for me, I, I saw opportunities that he was, it was like he's seeing the opportunity to take. So he's taking them, you know. Well, um, I, I saw some slowed down footage from last night okay. where it looked like almost in at least four occasions, yeah. his teammates were in better passing positions. You could see oh. a clear passing lane and okay. then he chooses the more difficult option. Okay. Luis Diaz is captured on tape in at least three sequences where he's like, I'm open. Give me just pass me yeah. the ball. Why? Just pass okay. me the ball. Mm. And Trent was also pictured in the same game doing the same thing. So I was like, sometimes okay. mm. players complicate things for their teams. Look, I always say that if you know how to play as a team, especially in crucial moments when you are a star player, that's what actually makes you a star player. Mm. And a lot of the times, I'm not, I'm not team Messi. Okay. But the reasons why I love Lionel Messi is that in a crucial game situation, he will choose the pass if it is the best option instead of going for goal. And that mm -hmm. always, always makes him a great yeah. player. I'll, I'd always respect that. As for Mohamed Salah, I think that's the little bit that's left. Because if you look at his numbers, right, his assist numbers are right up there with the yeah, best very, of them. Very good, yeah. Even in his selfish self. Mm. So you can even the team 
you'll probably be pushing 20 assists or something crazy like that in mm. a season. But that's just what it is. It's midweek action against Aston Villa. Steven Gerrard mm. is in the other dugout. So mm. it's a uh, pretty interesting proposition. But yeah. what, your prediction for that one? 2-0. Uh, 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil. Yeah. Two pet. <laughs> Let's finish off with big news, Charlie. EPL defenders must be quick in Erling Haaland. Oh. Manchester City. They have triggered his release clause. 75 million euros. He is heading to the Etihad. I have a feeling Pep vetoed this deal as soon as they were eliminated by Real Madrid. He says, mm. you know what? We said we'll wait till the summer. Just complete the deal now. <laughs> so he's done his medical already. That's how crazy this is. He's done his medical and he's gone back to Dortmund. So mm. um, they are not, I mean, playing around. They are wow. basically in full motion. They want to quickly tie this up so they can take him to preseason. We are not coming to wait and do mm. transfer speculation. This <laughs> Ellen Haaland, that, this, that. No, no. They're, they're not waiting for none of that. Manchester City mean business. I like the, I like the new Liverpool signings though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Look, it looks nice. You're looking nice. It looks nice. Manchester City, though, I mean, nice. I guess it's their MO. It's not surprising. They like to buy the finished article and slot yeah. in with it. You know, yeah. you're We're, not going to get someone developing players uh -huh. here. No, Whereas, no, no. We don't He's do like, that I'll here. spend uh, the money, give me yeah, who I want, yeah, you know? Yeah, but I, I, like, I like Klopp's approach. I like yeah. Liverpool's approach. I they think that's more sustainable, Take them a bit actually. of, you know, they're, they're good. You can see them. Liverpool have a thing for scouting unknown players. Like, they don't typically pan to the gallery and say right. we're going to buy this popular yeah. guy or we're going to go yeah. for this guy because everybody else is chasing yeah. I, I i definitely agree with that yeah. They, yeah. they do some fantastic recruiting yeah. and they move very ruthlessly yeah. you, you hear that liverpool expects interest in the player next thing you know he's holding up his jersey yes. <laughs> like it, it's very <laughs> very yeah. swift yeah. it's very 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 swift. german yeah. very club love it yeah. about him <laughs> you know yeah. very love it about him. Yeah. How, how many goals do you reckon ellen Haaland will score in his first season in the epr i think for this hmm. Uh, you know what? I think people might be surprised that he might not come and be the star boy. Because I, uh, the EPL, yeah, tell yeah. me. Different yeah. ball game. It's a different, different ball, ball game. Especially, or... especially with German forwards. If, yeah. if, if, you, if you trace a pattern with German players that have excelled in the Bundesliga and have made the cross to the EPL, it's not always it's so not pretty. I can talk easy. about um, a guy like Marco Marin. I remember at the point, big star for Werder Bremen came to Chelsea. It was, he was mm. all over the place. Mm. Timo Werner. Mm -hmm. It's a more recent example. Even Kai Havertz. Mm -hmm. Yes, he scored a Champions League goal, but he's been underwhelming for most part. I, I'm, I'm looking at Ellen Haaland's side. It's like, bro, you, <laughs> you, you better know where you are coming yeah. and you better come correct yeah. because this is it. Like, yeah. this is the best of the best. I think yeah. probably 12. 12. 12. Yeah. In his hmm. first season. Mm. Okay. Oh, me, I, I just did watch. <laughs> <laughs> I just did watch, man. I, I say 15. <laughs> Okay. I say probably 15. Okay. Let's see how okay. it goes. If he does 15, 5 assists or 10 assists. I think if he does 15, he's done brilliant. Yeah, I think, I think, I, I think that would be a decent yeah. season for him. Yeah. 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 So we'll, we'll see if Erling Haaland uh, will be pulling on the Manchester City jersey next. It looks wow. very likely now. So let's wait for it. Guys, thank you very much. All thank, right. you. thank you. Thank you. Well, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.